It's because you are facing poor now. You are very poor now because I've tied the, the words of my husband. <laughs> Told the native daughter to tie his words for five years. Hello guys, it's another beautiful day and as you can see, I'm with someone you like to hear from. Um, a lady brought this woman here to me. She said I should just help her, that I should give her a platform to confess. So she's here to confess and even the lady that brought her here said, and my audience should just tell them what they can do because this lady, this woman has been suffering it's been long so let her quickly tell tell us everything what's happened now this one you are doing my husband since now since you do my husband I'm, your husband is not here now madam take it easy <laughs> you don't understand that <laughs> i'm so sorry should you, should your friend come and help you confess <laughs> no 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 i would do it by myself so i can get forgiveness from me <laughs> got married to my husband five years we were suffering without nothing even my family members they, they refused to attend the marriage due to the my husband is poor and we have been suffering now <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry the problem that brought me here, uh, I'm seeing my husband's face. My, my late husband's face, I'm seeing it. Every time, everywhere I go. <laughs> everywhere I go, whether I'm in the kitchen, whether I know. Everywhere I go at all, whether I'm eating, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'll be seeing his face. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> My husband, I'm sorry. <laughs> you just tell them the whole thing now. Oh, see, can you relax? Can we do this another time? No, I will do it today. I want to be free. <laughs> then go ahead and talk. Now. When we got married, even his family members, they did not used to come to the house. Even my family members. Because we are poor. My husband is poor. We have nothing. But the one, <laughs> the little time that God bless him, that he got to work from the government. <laughs> Everybody started associating with him because he's earning his most small money from there. Even his brothers, once his, his nephews, that he need all of them to come and stay, even his cousins to come and stay with him. How is it possible? When we are suffering, they did not even come to check on us, they did not even send us anything. I was like, I'm sorry. I was like, I'm sorry. I was like, I'm sorry. Madam, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so because of that, my husband does not even give me face sometimes. He's showing me some negligence that I don't even know. I cannot explain. Because of that now, I wanted to prove to him that it's because of the money <laughs> that is making them to associate with him. <laughs> he went to a native daughter. To tie his words for five years. But before I do that, I pleaded him to open markets for me, spam markets for me, so that I can manage from there. Because I know I want to do evil. <laughs> but I told him, native daughter, to tie his words for five years. <laughs> So we started managing from the supermarket. Everybody, body parents, nobody's are coming to the house because you are facing poor now. You are very poor now because I've tied the, the words of my husband. 
<laughs> Please, sorry to ask you, madam. How did you tie the welt? You how? I went to the native doctor. Yes, I know you went to the native doctor. You tied his welt. You know, not be talk say he's working with the government. Yes. So how did they now do it? They stop paying him. They stop paying your husband. Yes. <laughs> They said they will pay him. That what we pass for you know. On another session, they will say they will pay him five years. It's not even up to five years. My market dried off. Nothing to field. The frustration was much. <laughs> so after three years, I went to, back to meet the native daughter that he should untie, but no way. He said that it was up to that five years, I said, and the frustration is much. <laughs> That's why I'm sorry. That's why I'm sorry. That's why I'm sorry. <laughs> now, because of the frustration, my husband is late. We don't even know what to do. That I'm seeing him every day in my life. <laughs> so I came to meet you. Lord. So I can confess because the Bible says, even Jesus said in the Bible, <laughs> that we should confess our sin, we forgive us. That is why I came to confess. That was why I'm sorry. That was why I'm sorry. <laughs> so, how did your husband die? Because of frustration. There is no money. He's confused. <laughs> now he's late. No, nothing to show him. Everybody neglects us. Both my family. <laughs> but I'm seeing him every day in my life. So you said the shop be opened for you, Seth. That he's the right, but nothing. <laughs> Because they are finished all the money, no way. Please, hey, madam, your story is not even clear. You said you went to Babalawo yes. to tie your husband's wealth. Huh? Because Did they sack him at his working place or what? That's the one, that's what I want to know. How did they tie the wealth? They were, is it that you said they were not paying him again? But was he still working before he died? He just worked for a month, they sacked him. Yeah. Because Babalawo told me that they will sack him after working for a month without payment. But they will still take him back after the five years. Okay, so the, the, the tie that you tied is well, you tied it for just five years? Yes, but it's, it was not up to five years. Three years he died. I was begging the Babalawo, he did not agree. So when the thing was already getting out of hand, why didn't you confess to your husband? <laughs> I wanted to do, but it was late. I can't again. I'm seeing him. I'm sorry, I'm seeing him. I'm sorry. Like he's here right now. He's here, I'm sorry, I'm pleading you. Forgive me. It was because of ignorance, I'm sorry. <laughs> so the only thing that made you go and tie your husband's wealth is giving money to the people that rejected us every year for I, I don't know see his family. Will he not neglect his family because he has money? They neglected us when we don't have anything to eat. Why didn't you talk to your husband? Now the deed has been done and now you are I going was through talking to him if did not even answer me. I said neglecting me sometimes. And I please you need to make your story clear so that they will understand what you're saying. So you said you, you were married, you guys were married for like five years, then there was nothing, nothing yeah, was coming. So uh, no money. No money. <laughs> Sorry. So, that was bad, sorry. That was bad, sorry. Sorry. That 
sorry. Must we always learn the hard way before we get sense? <laughs> but you look so you look too young to 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 say you you were married for five years, with no money before you money came. You got um, employment. I don't understand. You look yes. so. We got married. He got married to me when I was eighteen years. <laughs> now this lady that brought you here, who is she to you? She is my compound woman. She stayed the same compound. So you now confessed everything to her already? <laughs> I was trying to tell her, but I said I should come first. <laughs> so because when she's looking surprised, it's like she too she's just hearing this whole thing yes, for the first time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. So, guys, Please she's just me. here to confess. I'm me, I'm just sorry. feeling like I'm she's sorry. affected by the death of her husband. I'm Maybe I'm she's not seen any I'm any I'm ghost sorry. or any whatever, but I'm it's I'm just sorry. the pain and the guilty conscience. That she for the, he died because of her. Maybe that's why she's like this. So I would advise a friend or a compound, um, whatever, a neighbor, to take her to the hospital. Since you've already confessed, you just take her to the hospital and they should just check if she's all right because she doesn't look mentally okay. Doesn't look mentally okay. That's my own opinion. <laughs> but you can just drop your advice in the comment yeah. section. Because the only advice I will tell, I will give to the lady here is to take her to the clinic. Let them go and confirm if she is mentally sound. You've seen cases like this. Everybody, she's not seen any ghost, but the pain is making her feel she's seen her husband. Meanwhile, nothing. So, guys, share this video and stay tuned. Please, my advice for you, every, every one of us. Please, just learn from these people's mistakes. Don't wait until it happens to you or to somebody that you know before you learn. You need to learn now because hmm, things they happen, no. Things they happen. Imagine, assuming she even told her husband, maybe by now the man will still be alive. He would have just endured for the many two years. Now, look, man, marry woman, no, no, same marry problem. See, come and take your neighbor or your friend. 